Hello, divine souls. How are you today? I, the intro is still awkward for me. I was just setting up for this video and I can hear my neighbor outside sweeping. And there's nothing wrong with that at all. And in fact, sometimes in the winter time, she helps me quite a bit. As in, she's Hispanic. And I don't mean this in any particular way, but I've heard that Hispanic wives or mothers will keep their all of their surroundings really clean. And they sweep inside and outside a lot. And that's not the problem either. And in the winter time, when it ices and the stairs ices up in snow, she'll get out there and be the only one to sweep the stairs clean, free of snow and ice, in the sidewalk. And <laughs> actually out by the trash can too, the big dumpster. And that helps me because last year, my foot that I had surgery on, on the Achilles tendon, was still quite a bit sore. So I was kind of still babying it, which I shouldn't have, but I did. And I was thankful she did that because I was scared I was gonna slip and screw things up badly. <laughs> And I think I told you guys about it because I gave her a, a little round cake, little miniature pies and stuff, and gave her a letter that said, thank you for doing that. The reason why I bring it up tonight is, as I was setting this up, it's dark outside. And I can hear her outside of my window sweeping my porch area. And that's still not a problem, but... When, when you're out there in the same spot for, I think it's been about 10 minutes now, sweeping the same area, I know they're probably looking at my windows. And I say that because if my blinds are cracked and you can see in, they'll stare. Like they're either looking at the entirety of my living room and kitchen or they're staring at me. I don't know which one. But when I have my lights on, when I do my video, they really stare. I just got a microphone, a wired microphone for these videos, and I hope you can see it. I hope it works. I'd rather have a wireless. The last one I got was very problematic. Well, I guess this one is my best option for now. And I want to give you a update on my heart. It is, I, I don't know what's really going on. Since I took my, my heart medicine, my heart would be fine all day. I would feel one or two of the incidences that were happening. But once 6 o'clock in the evening came, I'm, I'm assuming the pills would wear off and they would start happening again. Tonight, not so much. Today, yes. Today, from morning until almost when I got off of work, they were going like... 20 to 30 a day again and I'm like you know that's that's really weird at night they've been very active but when I got off of work tonight it's not active so I'm like okay that's strange because now the pills not actively working unless it's just been in my system long enough I don't know but then if that's the fact then it would have been non-active during the day. I got distracted. I'm sorry. I hope I just made sense. So that's what's been going on lately. I did not have a visit last night. I, I think maybe I did. My winter coat has been scaring me. <laughs> and I say that because it's hanging on one my bathroom door, which is in my bedroom. And I have a coat hook that hand, hangs over the top of the door because I just don't have enough closet space for my clothes and winter coats. So I have my main new winter coat hanging up there. And when I wake up or roll over at night and I see this big dark blob, it catches me off guard and me being half asleep, I'm like, I gasp. And this happened, I think, last night and the other night. The night before that, I think, I woke up with what felt like a being crawling or walking through my bed behind me and then I felt vibrations in my lower back area 
and when I feel it in that area I feel like they're either working on my spine because in that spot is where all of my back injuries are from the car accident I was in my herniated disc my bulge discs and now with age um, degenerative disc disease in which that's inherited too so and that they stayed behind my back in that area for quite a while I think I fell asleep and it was still going other than that nothing new is going on tomorrow I have my heart um, scan it's the cardio complete and I think it's a cardiogram complete I researched it and it sounds like I think I already told you about it they put electrodes in specific areas on your body and then do the uh, imagery that's very similar to the ultrasound and with those combined it will come up with whatever is going on and that is tomorrow at 10 and I won't know anything until Monday I think unless they release the results on my chart that is through a online app that I have and I can either read it I have a feeling that they're going to wait and post it like Monday then call me Monday by the way <laughs> in my last video that I put out what did you think of all of those orbs I was amazed I saw that one the one that I pointed out to you that went around me but the other ones I didn't see until I was editing that and I'm like oh my gosh there were so many while I'm editing this one you might see them go up on the wall in specific areas and um, maybe not they don't occur arrive or whatever often I just happen to look in the thing and I don't I look tired I have been tired all week I mean all week and I left work today only like 20 minutes early because I pushed myself to stay there all day and then the closer it got for me to get off I was not feeling well I don't know if it's my heart or if it's just a fluke or I'm getting sick I don't know what it is I have been so tired I'm not supposed to be drinking a lot of caffeine probably not at all because of what's going on with my heart but I struggle to stay awake at work and that's not me and so I drink a lot of coffee well not a lot under three cups and in very small cups you know like the kind you have at hospitals those little styrofoam cups that you carry around and think that's just not enough and then sometimes I'll drink two cups and a can of monster and it's not that I enjoy them in which I kind of do but knowing I have this heart issue right now if I was awake and alert and feeling like I used to I wouldn't be drinking them and if I were to drink them it would be very few but I struggle every day I am so tired and it's it's emotionally getting to me because I, I can't explain the tiredness it's not the kind of tiredness where you haven't slept it's the kind of tiredness like your body is wore out and it just wants to roll over and go to sleep roll over and go to sleep in the floor fully clothed you don't care if it's hot or cold but and the, the floor is going to kill your body but you're just so in need of sleep is the way I feel I hope to get some answers soon my doctor wants to do blood work so while I'm out doing that tomorrow my scan I will see if I can uh, either do blood there or I have to go back to the clinic and do it and hopefully we'll see what that is too so I'm going to go ahead and end this video here like I said I'm so tired and I want to try to put this out tonight and I will do a video I will try to do a video again tomorrow I'm off tomorrow tomorrow is Friday yeah I'm gonna edit this and I'm going to bed so I love you guys let me know in the comments below if you don't mind uh, what you 
thought about those orbs flying around because I loved it. And those are, are light beings that are flying around without a body. And sometimes we're lucky enough to catch them on camera. So I'm going to end this here. I love you guys so much. And I'm going to send you love, light, and peace. Bye.